and welcome back to my channel, Mend with Mare. All right, you all, this is another installment of the Empowerment Series. And today I'm going to be doing the lovely, amazing goddess queen, Shakira. Shakira, you guys. Shakira got cheated on by her husband. I, 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 I don't have words for it. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm sure it doesn't make sense to all of you. I haven't listened to the song yet. However, somebody mentioned to me that she found out that she was being cheated on because of jam that was missing that I guess her two sons and her husband didn't like the jam and it was her favorite jam and that she kept noticing that somebody was eating it and she didn't know how and that's what tipped her off. I don't know if this is true or not, but wow. Okay. I also heard that he lives next door to his parents and that parents allowed the 22 year old to just come over and sunbathe outside where Sha Shakira could see her. And so Shakira has like a witch on her balcony that she has, her, <laughs> that she has her um, housekeeper go out and like brush the hair of it every single day. It's just, that's really funny to me. And there is like this fine line where you go from comparing yourself to the other person that they cheated on you with and being consumed with perseverative thoughts about the cheating. And you can stay in that and get stuck just like the song Right Where You Left Me by Taylor. Check it out if you haven't watched it yet. But it's really crucial to move from this spot where you feel really depressed and down and hurt and lost to, wait a second, I deserve a lot better. And forget this. The great emotion that gets you from point A to B is anger. Anger is essential. And some people never, never get to that spot. And then they're stuck because they're just so in shock over what occurred, especially whenever something's happening in your own home. You can imagine that it would bring up feelings of being paranoid. Like, how could this be going on without me knowing in my own home? I mean, I feel for Shakira, especially somebody on the scale of Shakira. I mean, did anybody see her at the Super Bowl? I mean, I loved Shakira clear back. I was studying abroad in Italy and I remember Hips Don't Lie was popular at the time. I'd drive my roommates insane because I'd wake up every morning and be like, I'm on tonight. You know my hips don't lie. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling. I mean, Shakira is at the top, but that doesn't mean that she is immune to the same things that everyday people go through, lay people like us. Because it doesn't matter what you look like because it has nothing to do with your looks. It has everything to do with the other person and their insecurity or immaturity. If he was unhappy in his marriage, he had a duty and a responsibility to her to let her know that he wasn't there mentally instead of cheating on her and hiding it from her. You have to communicate. Okay, Shakira, what do you have for us? What is she saying? For guys like you? Guys guys like you, for guys like you, something like that. I can still pick up on a little bit of it, but I'm gonna have the um but I'm gonna have the the captions on. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, typical. Typical. It sounds like she's always been really strong. He's this champion that she cheered on. I think he, what does he do? He's like a soccer player or something? I don't even know. And as soon as she needed him, he couldn't handle it. Sometimes people only want to be with you when you're at your best, truly. And they cannot hang in there for the hard times. And it could just be so disconcerting as you're like, wait a second, I'm always there for you. Why aren't you here for me now? Mm. Sorry, baby, I said gato. Yeah, yeah, baby, I got it, say gato. Una loba como yo, en esta pano a todo. Una loba como yo, en esta pano a todo. Una loba como yo, en esta pa' tipo como tú. 
she wolf isn't for guys like you. Because Shakira, she's a she wolf. She's a goddess. Did you really think you could do this to her and nothing would come from it? Oh. Mm -mm. Buddy, you got another thing coming to you. You do. out of your league that's why you're with someone like you somebody that would cheat with you not okay good good shakira doesn't matter if he's crying if he's begging it doesn't matter it takes a lot of time and effort to regain somebody's trust so cry all you want you can beg all you want no oh my gosh is he a narcissist i think this this gives me the vibes of it, it sounds as if he can't take the heat a lot of times narcissists will punish you or will not focus in on the bad behavior that they committed but more on your reaction or what you're causing because of the bad behavior if that makes sense for her to say it's clear that it's not my fault it's not my fault if they criticize you that's what you did right right Thing. I only make music. This is what I do. And it's not my fault if it splashes on you. And I think that this goes back to why a lot of times, like even Taylor's criticized because she talks about her own life experiences, which all these other male artists talk about their life experiences. Same with Shakira. It's not her fault. The experiences that she's had and turns it into art and her art is music. So sorry, buddy. You knew what a goddess you were with. I think he probably never expected that she would would react in this way. I think he's really underestimated her. What is happening? What? I just read about the the mom being the neighbor um that she put that thing out there i didn't know it was in the song yes shakira yes so she said you left me with your mom as a neighbor oh my god it's got the mom next door like she was she was enmeshed with this whole family and then because of all the things that he did left the press at her door and a debt with the treasury what i gotta look this up oh my gosh it says that a Spanish judge has approved a trial for Colombian pop singer Shakira on charges of fraud, tax fraud. Prosecutors accused her of failing to pay $14 million in taxes and are seeking an eight year, what, what, what? I gotta see this. I guess she's set to go to trial because she's refused a plea deal. But she's saying, I'm confident that I have enough proof to support my case and that justice will prevail in my favor. Oh my gosh, so a lot of the debts are his. That he might be a narcissist because they will do things, seek people out that are wealthier than them. And I think he, he is super wealthy, but they will financially bankrupt people too. And it doesn't seem like he has any remorse because I guess he's like out, out and about with this girlfriend. And who does this? Like the treasury? This is not good. I guess Shakira, in order to have full custody of the children, has offered to pay some of his debts off so that he'll sign the agreement. Yikes. It's not good. Wow, she's been wronged. Speak, she needs to speak her truth. So great that she's transparent because you know we've all been through things and to know that even somebody like her could go through it is, wow, okay. Yes, you thought you'd hurt me, but it made me stronger. I love it. I love it. I love it. She's getting her power back. I'm sure she was hurt really bad, but she's gonna bounce back. <laughs>
because she's amazing and she's a she-wolf. Okay. What's her name? Gotta look it up. So I had to get my glasses. Cause I'm old. Okay. Uh, so her name's Clara, and she's 23. Oh, she's the name of a good person. Clara in Spanish means clear. No, it sounds like she's not those things actually. Okay, but she's calling it out, and I think it's really good. But I will say that. It's not okay to go to somebody's home and eat their food and engage in this type of relationship. But I will say more of the responsibility is on him because he was the one who committed to Shakira and he should, he's fully, he's majority of it is, is him being to blame. All right. <laughs> Okay, lots, lots to go over there. Woo! Oh, I remember, I remember seeing on like the news something about like Cassio was upset that they were called out in the song, but she's basically saying like, I'm a Rolex. I'm the best of the best. And you replace me with, with that kind of watch, like a cheap, a cheap ass watch. No, she's like, I don't even know you. I don't even recognize you. You know, they have two boys together and they built a life together. And then now it sounds like he was working out at the gym a lot, which sometimes is a red flag. And that she's like, well, you really need to work out your brain because your brain is not working clearly if you're going to leave her. Let's talk about Shakira's brain for a second. I mean, thank God she is empowered in this way. Research has showed that whenever we look at pictures of an ex or someone that has cheated on us, it lights up the same parts of the brain as whenever you have like physical light burns. So being cheated on can affect you in a way. It will make you feel like you are physically in pain. It kind of matches up then with the saying like, oh, I got burned by that person. I just discovered something new in my own brain today. All right. Whoa, she's saying I can be out tomorrow if you want to move her in because she feels like a hostage here. His actions affected her. So it's not her fault if there's all of this like chaos and stuff going on, but he's essentially hurt her, cheated on her, and now is holding her hostage in her home. So she's like, I can move out. You can move her right back in. I have no feelings. Mm. Love it, Shakira. That's, that's not, it's hard to do. Not always, but yeah. <laughs>
Wow, she's so good. Yes, Shakira, yes. She's giving me life here. Oh, not gonna take it. She's not gonna roll over. She's like, no, I didn't ask for this. And she's calling it out for what it is. And it's amazing. You're, you're fighting an uphill battle whenever you are coming back from being rejected like this. Feeling anger and expressing it out like this is a perfect thing to do. I give Shakira major props. I think she is a goddess and I really like this song too. I, I mean, I love her. She's so good. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this. Stay well, stay strong, stay empowered. All right. Bye.